Hey everyone, this is Anna. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. It's Friday night. Happy Friday. I am just sitting here enjoying some tea um, in my beautiful mug uh, from my friend Patty, who's a potter in Montana. Um, she makes amazing pottery. Um, I'll leave a link to uh, her Instagram below because she makes some amazing pottery. Um, anyway, just sitting here putting some stuff together um, for my visit with mom tomorrow. Uh, my sister and I are going to visit her. I'm putting together a little Easter basket for her and um, things like that. Uh, making sure that I gather up all these little felties that I got from Sandy earlier this week. Thank you so much, Sandy. These are going to be a really big hit tomorrow. And um, if you're interested, I will show you um, what I'm putting in mom's Easter basket. I'll do that at the end of the video. Um, so I'll go ahead and share my haul first, um, if that interests you more. Um, I did stop at Tuesday morning to see if I could find some hand towels and things like that. Um, I did not, but I did find this little card kit. So I picked that up. It is from a My Mind's Eye paper line, um, which has really bright, cheerful colors. I don't know the name of the line offhand. Um, but I thought bright, cheerful colors, and those will be um, easy to put together uh, for uh, just cards to have on hand for mom to have. Um, I also picked up this box of Kleenex from the dollar store. Uh, it's pretty lavender on it. This is usually the one I get for her. Um, let's see. I also picked up some of this chenille. Um, they only had the three colors um, available at our store. So I did get that. I got the blue, the purple, and the yellow, which I think is gorgeous. That yellow is so pretty. So those are the three colors I was able to find. Um, I don't know what I'll do with these yet. I'll probably just use them for little tags on um, tie tags and ribbons and things like that, since I don't crochet or anything like that. Um, I also picked up this. It is a mini scoreboard. And... Um, you probably all know what that is, but they had that at the store. I also picked up um, this, these little um, six by six, or five, actually I think they're five by five. Yeah, uh, five by five charm pack um, of this cute fabric. And it's, um, has some wildflower print, has some honeycomb, has some little beehives, um, bee print like that. And like that and then I also found it in um, this little bundle as well so some same prints um, and they also had it in a um, great big roll the cake roll I think is what it's called um, but I, I did not pick that and then they also had the 10 by 10 squares so I just picked up those um, I also grabbed these for mom lifesavers and some spring lifesavers. So grab that. Let me get to put this on the floor here. So it's out of the way. Um, let's see. I will show you what's in her Easter basket at the end of the video. So if you're not interested in that, you can skip past that. Um, I'll go ahead and show you a few things I picked up at Hobby Lobby today. I did have to make a return, so I did pop in there and then make a, made a quick um, trip around the store while I was there. It's been a really long time since I've been there. And there was so much new stuff. So I did pick up a package of these. These are the uh, storage memory keepers, the uh, 12 by 12 um, uh, envelopes. I like to store some of my kits um, in there. So I grab a package of those. I also grabbed this die. These were 40% uh, off today. So grab that. This is that really huge single die from um, the recent Tim Holtz release. And I just love butterflies. So I um, wanted to make sure I had that in my stash. I also grabbed these really pretty cotton ribbons. So there's this one. Um, ribbons were half off today as well, so they will be all half off tomorrow as well. Isn't that pretty? 
thought this was this would be a nice compliment to um, the little ribbons that I have, the cotton ribbon that I have from the dollar store. Um, I also picked up this one here. Let's see. If I can get this undone, maybe we can look at it. Oh goodness. It's gonna force me to get the scissors out. Good night. I thought that one was really cute. And it's like, uh, not quite half an inch, probably three eighths of an inch. So really cute. And then that one's in the color ivory. This one looks like it's ivory as well, it is. And then I also grabbed um, a package of these. Um, all the Tim Holtz stuff was 40% uh, off today, I think. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure 40% off. Um, rubber stamps were also 40% off today, so I picked up this little bee. And I picked up this little bunny. And this even smaller little hen. Really cute. Um, I did pick up another one of these. This one is a gift. Um, I picked up these cute little charms. Um, I thought these were really cute. They're like a little keychain. So I got that one. I grabbed this one. Really, really cute. And this one. So those will make cute little gifts. Um, I grabbed this little, um, these uh, little Velcro dots. I know they sell Velcro dots at like the dollar store, so it would be 50 cents cheaper. Um, but I like these much better because they're actually smaller. So got those. And then I grabbed this. for my sister, who I, I don't think she watches my videos, so I don't think this will spoil it, but I got this for my sister. Um, her name is Melissa, which I guess means honey bee. So she always has liked bee things, and so I thought that was really cute. Be sweet and bumble. So, picked up that for her. Then, um, I also did get um, some things in the mail, and I'll go ahead and show you those. Um, I did pick up myself a new address book. This one is from the Box Clever Press. Um, honestly, the only reason I grabbed it is because of, uh, or grabbed this particular one was because it got such good reviews. Those are pretty. So I like the nice big blocks for writing. Um, I do like that it has every um, letter here on the side. It's kind of nice. Ooh, there's a pocket in the back. Oh, what's in here? Let's see what's in the pocket. If I can. It's stuck. My fingernails are so short. Uh, it says, thank you for joining the Clever Box Clever Press family. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, they're in stickers. That's cool. So when you have a change of address in here or a mistake, you can put something over it instead of, which is why I need a new address book. My address book is like, you know, I'm running out of space because I have so many different addresses for people that have been crossed out and moved down. And it's just really confusing anymore. And addresses in there of people I don't know anymore. And. So, anywho, this I thought was, uh, would be nice to have, so, nice. Um, let's see, what else did I get? Um, I ordered these, these are as a box of a thousand bulb pins. And I thought these would be fun to pin little tags and stuff on, um, or put little charms and things on the center of my ribbons, things like that. Um, that's a thousand. That looks like a whole lot more than I um, thought I was ordering. <laughs> but there they are. 
I also got um, two beautiful cards in the mail this week. Let me share those with you as well. And for my friend Gabby with an eye. Gabby with an eye. She sent me this beautiful Braird card. And um, this stamp here, which I think is probably a memory box stamp. Because I'm pretty sure I have that stamp. <laughs> and so she did a beautiful job of brayering that rainbow of color and then adding the uh, water detail there to pick up some of the ink. And Gabby, your message is just beautiful. Thank you so much. And then I also received a card from Jen Deal. And Jen sent the cutest little Easter card my way. So it says Easter wishes and has this adorable cute chick. I really like this little scalloped frame around the outside edge. And inside she has this beautiful die cut here as well. So Jen, thank you so much for your message. And um, I'm so glad that I have been able to inspire you and and so many others as well. And thank you so much for the Easter card. I love it and it's gonna look so cute on our coffee table, which is where I have all our Easter cards lined up right now. So those are the things that I picked up um, today and then also in the mail, received in the mail today. And I have one more thing that I got in the mail today, which <laughs> may not apply to most of you, um, but I do, um, have to admit that I have a little bit of OCD when it comes to the garden and spacing and so I actually ordered myself a seating square which will allow me to have um, precisely planted plants in the garden. So this is um, a square that you can use uh, to ma uh, map out grids in your garden and your soil and then it has different holes that you can use uh, to map out the seedlings that you plan on planting. So probably a little overboard for a lot of people, but um, I think this will make me super happy. So I thought I would order it from, for myself. And I'm really excited it arrived today. So i um, excited because I'm actually going to be planting some things this weekend. Um, so now let me go ahead and um, if you're interested, I'll show you what I'm putting in mom's Easter basket. Um, so let's see, I picked up um, one of these little balloons. Instead of having a great big balloon um, that floats around in her room, I just got one of these that's on a stick. So I thought that was cute, it's shaped like an egg. And then, um, of course, the Easter card that I made for her the other day, with that little bunny sticker. So I think that turned out really cute. I also picked up um, some socks for her. These um, have uh, woodstock on them, some little flowers, really cute. This one has Snoopy and some Easter eggs and little polka dots on the socks. That's really cute. And then the third pair is uh, this really pretty blue. It has this really cute scallop at the top, which I thought was cute. Um, Snoopy and woodstock and they have some Easter eggs and a flower. And then there's flowers down on the toe also. So I thought those were cute and she will love those. I picked up a little Easter, happy Easter hand towel for her bathroom. So nothing too exciting there. Um, I did put in a couple packages of Lifesavers. She loves having um, little hard candy. So I thought these would be cute for her to have. Um, if you don't know, my mom recently moved into a memory care residency. Um, so we get to visit her once or so a week, um, once or twice a week. And uh, so it's very nice. I'm going to go see her tomorrow with my sister. Got her a little chocolate bar. I got her a little marshmallow filled chocolate um, package. It looks like it has four little eggs in there. And then I got her a couple little dishes that she can put her little candies in. And then I also got her this adorable bunny. Let me move these things. I picked up this bunny for her. She really likes stuffed animals. And uh, I just thought this bunny was super cute. I added the bow. Um, this was ribbon that came in that package earlier this week <clears throat> um, that I received. 
and the bunny is just really soft and cute and it crinkles a little bit and it actually has a squeaker because it's actually a dog toy <laughs> but I think it's just so cute and actually the crinkle noises and the squeak those are good things so but isn't he cute I just think it's the cutest bunny so really really cute and then um, all of it is in a little uh, wooden basket that I picked up uh, if you can see it a uh, little wooden basket and it has a little fabric in a uh, lining with bows on the side so that'll be really cute she'll be excited I think to have that and uh, yeah that's pretty much it so um, I hope you guys have had a great week I'm looking forward to putting some of these things away and uh, clearing my desk off and getting busy with crafting so hope you guys have a wonderful weekend if I don't um, chat with you again I may I'm not sure exactly what I'll be doing tomorrow other than visiting mom and then watching the Gonzaga basketball game tomorrow night um, so I'll probably make another video maybe tomorrow maybe Sunday so anyways if I don't chat with you uh, have a wonderful weekend and a very blessed Easter and Thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.